So the last thing you have on page 202 is uh, important because it's a foreshadowing of things to come. In this section of the homework, they say find all possible functions f with the given derivative. They're telling you what f prime is, and you have to come up with what f is. Now, we have to think about what this means, all possible functions. There's more than one possible answer. How many possible answers to each one? All right, so we know, we're looking for some function that the derivative of that function is 2. What could that function be? Well, one obvious guess is f of x could be 2x, because the derivative of that would be 2. But also, f of x could be 2x minus 10. Derivative of that would be 2 as well. f of x could be 2x plus 150. All right, so how many possible functions have this derivative? Infinitely many. How are we going to express them all? Find all possible functions whose derivative of that? We're going to say f of x equals 2x plus c, where c is an element of the real numbers, or c is a real number. All right, so what you've done here, since you found a function whose derivative of this, you have found an antiderivative. That's going to really concern us a great deal over the coming months. All right, so this is how we write it, 2x plus c. Everybody's going to know the plus c means real numbers. All right, so how about this one? What's a function whose derivative is, is sine? Is it cosine? No, because the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So could it be negative cosine? Yeah, the derivative of negative cosine is in fact sine. Now we put on the plus c. Everybody's going to know that means c is a real number. All right, so that takes care of all the infinitely many possibilities, all the vertical translations which do not affect the derivative. Yeah. All right, how about this one? 1 over x minus 1 with its strange x greater than 1. Well, one thing about the x greater than 1 is it prevents the denominator from being undefined because the denominator can't be 0. So uh, let's think about what function. What function could have that for a derivative? What could it be? Yeah ln of x minus 1, because derivative of ln of x minus 1 would be 1 over x minus 1. There's a chain rule times the derivative of the inside, but the derivative of the inside function is 1, so it does not change the value of 1 over x minus 1. Now you also have revealed uh, why they said x is greater than 1, because if x were less than 1, then ln of x minus 1 would be undefined. All right, so now we put on our plus c, so that uh, we've covered all possible uh, values. We're going to say that that's equal to f of x. We're not just going to say equals because f prime does not equal that. f does. And there you go. By the way, here's a little aside. If they had said f prime of x uh, equals 1 over x minus 1, and they didn't say x is greater than 1, they just said x is not equal to 1. Do you have any idea what the antiderivative would be then? Do you remember when we said not just the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x, but the derivative of ln of the absolute value of x is equal to 1 over x? That's what you would do in that case. So there's uh, antiderivatives, and that is all you have to do for uh, 4.2. Enjoy.